Let's get it, baby. Uh, shout out to the people that are watching YouTube or Instagram Reels or whatever you're watching it on. And uh, this is the third and final episode, baby. Yeah, 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 man. We had some pretty productive first two episodes. I served some quality game. I laid a bunch of game on the ground for the Hungry Hounds. So now it's time to finish it off strong. What's good, Zizzle the Legend? Three. What's good, fam? Where you from and how you doing? What's good, man? Nothing, man. Serving some game and laying it down on the ground for the Hungry Hounds, man. Uh, as y'all come up in here, push that like button. We need to get to 3K likes. If y'all want me to start my dialogue on my topic, I'm about to give y'all some good sermon, man. You coming into the school of hard knocks. I'm finna give you some game. Kane in the building. Go follow my boy. Millie Lynn 89 What's good? What's good? What's good? Brian Mitch 4 What's good? Appreciate you for tapping in. Where you from? Miss MW back in the building. Let's go. Can we be friends? Yeah, we can. Follow me and tap the bell button. We'll be friends and family, man. Uh, I mess with everybody who messes with me. Push the like button too, man. We get to 3K likes and I'm going to get on my topic. I ain't telling y'all what the topic is. I'm going to just get into it when we get to 3K likes. You know what I'm saying? What's good? Parker Spam 101. Iscaris underscore Rex. Shout out to my mods too. I appreciate y'all for y'all's work. What's good, Jake? Two times. What's good? Use a... <laughs> That's a good username. Where y'all from? Let me know where y'all from as y'all coming in. What's good? Legendary10751. How's it going? And where you from, fam? Anthony going crazy with the likes. Push the like button with my mods. We got to get the 3K likes before I give any good game. What's good, Wessel? What's good, Travis Putnam underscore duh? What's good, Goofy Clanker? What's good, Ziz Legend? Oh, Ziz already been here. Cali, shout out to Cali, Parker. What part of Cali you in, man? Cali's beautiful. Uh, Cali, man, I be all up through Cali, man. Uh, there's always a good vibe in Cali. Lisa coming in, coming in, paying respects already. Um, with the roses. Hey, Zizzle, I'm going to tell you what. You come in here and self-promo anything, I'm going to get you gone so quick, boy. You're going to look like a Netflix show that didn't make it past season one. Don't come in here playing with me. Stockton, okay, what's the best food you could recommend in Stockton, man? Cali got a lot of great things. The people, the the food. There's a lot of craziness going on on Cali, too, but, man, there's craziness going on everywhere. You got to navigate through the bullshit. Yeah, yeah, let's get it going, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Keep pushing that like button. We got to get the 3K or I ain't talking about a damn thing. You already know how it go when I glow. What's good, Uncut Chiliso? How's it going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vomit. Hola. At the Motel 6, what's good? What's good, what's good? Anthony going crazy with the roses already. Y'all paying more respects to the game. What's good, John Edward 5864? How's it going and where you watch from? I appreciate you, Anthony. What's good, Michelle Vig 4 What's good? How you doing? Where you from? Yep, give me the 3K likes. In the meantime, I'm just talking. Stockton, low-key, whack. Oh, that's tough, man. Where could you recommend... What? Where would you recommend me to go in Cali as far as food pertains? The best food I ever had was in Vegas when I had Hell's Kitchen. There's nothing that beats that beef wellington. You know it's different when the water even tastes goaded. Like, even the water was goaded, fam. Yeah, but keep keep pushing that like button, man. Let's get the 3K likes. Let's get the 3K likes. What's good? Never low? Yeah, we never low. We always high up in the sky, man. Reside and abide by the principles and the principalities that we would like to. Yeah, 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 let's go at the Motel 6. I appreciate you running those likes up. I see a lot of people running those likes up. Anthony with 35 rows. Let's go to Sacramento. Okay, uh, what's, what restaurant do I go to in Sacramento? Or is there a really good food truck? What's good, Buck 12 Shop? I need to know, man, because me and Kane, we're going to get back to traveling soon when the money calls. And once we do, man, we need to know where to go. Bebe Kids 77 in the building. What's good? Lisa going crazy with the likes. I appreciate you. Rossetti, what's good, Rossetti? What's good? Stephanie in the building. Let's go. Oh, yeah, everybody tap the screen. We got to get the 3.K. Uh, 3.K. We got to get to 3K likes. LA is where it's at. Boy, Hollywood has some fire food. Lil Vincent 12, what's good? Yeah, Hollywood, man, they <laughs> burned a hole through my pocket. Uh, When I was on Hollywood Boulevard, right, Um, I went to Shake Shack, and that was the first time that I ever had Shake Shack. And I ended up spending over $200 because I would just, you know, um, get some tree if you know what I mean get out of my mind while I'm in the studio with a Sprite Lemonade and now I want to go eat so I go spend so much money on Shake Shack the homies was like can you quit it you got to come to me hey yeah yeah facts we going to New Mexico you know what I'm saying we got some business we got to handle out there square business I am my fingers about to pop off yeah keep tapping them get your 3k likes let's go yeah 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 yeah. let's go man uh up until then I'm just having a conversation with my viewers yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good, gang, man? Nothing much, man. We chilling, man. We having a good time. The vibes is residing. We got the music in the background. Square business. Hey, man, to all the new viewers in here, tap the follow button and the bell button. Come join the family. Come join the family. You spending your time here. Anywhere you spending, you might as well join. Get a membership. Join, man. It's free to follow. P coaching, what's good? Stephanie going crazy with the likes. Everybody's on one accord right now. Because they want to get this game. They want me to serve them. They hungry. Like Kane say, they starving. The fool's me was good. Where you from? Yeah, Cali be expensive. Man, I swear when I'm in Cali, I spend about 20 bucks a day just breathing. 
scuba diving in Mexico is nice. I want to go scuba diving. I'm, I'm ready to face all my fears. I used to be scared of anything water related. Y'all get that story one day about my Dollar Tree, Chris Brown. Yeah, get him out of here. Go, hey, clown, I hope you had a good time. Get him out of here. Bye-bye. Watch this. Watch this. I'm using magic. I'm using the force. <sighs> yeah, look at that. Watch how that happens, man. Uh, yeah, square business, man. Uh, we got to get you going. If you don't like the classroom, don't even come in the door. You interrupting the um, the presentation. Uh, you got to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of here. Uh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Scripture said, whatever thou doest, do us quickly. And we quickly going to get you out of here, baby. That's a fact. But uh, yeah, man, let's keep it going. Let's get to 3K likes, man. Uh, Let's get to 3K likes so I can get some good game. Brandy Carter, 233, what's good? Can't wait. Oh, yeah, same, vice versa. Uh, trying to get you out of Stockton. You pay so much money to just live in the ghetto, right? Like, see, that's what's be crazy. Living up north, y'all don't understand how good you'd be living down south because everything up north is so expensive. But if you live down south, you'd be able to get like a three-bedroom house for a, one, for a studio apartment. Like, a lot of these rappers that y'all be looking up to, you don't even know. They go to stores, rent jewelry, they rent clothes, they rent cars, they rent girls, and they all live in the same house with, with a box spring mattress on the floor. They don't even got a, uh, they don't even got a, a frame for their bed. <laughs> but Cali, man, Cali does a good job of putting on a persona. From SoCal, okay, shouts out to SoCal. Uh, yeah, yeah, what's your best, what's the best thing that you could recommend a tourist about SoCal? Yeah, yeah, we on the way to 3K likes, man. We going up. Lisa with roses, I appreciate it. I feel like it's Valentine's Day with all these roses raining up in here. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate it for real. Yeah, let's get these likes going up, man. Uh, I got a message I want to give y'all at 3K likes. What's good, Gianna? So pretty cool. How's it going and where you from? Appreciate you for tapping into the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate you for tapping into the show. Me and Kane both had successful three-show series tonight, man. I'm liking it. Every day we growing and going. Patrick, what's good? Patrick, got to hit up Lahala La and Malibu. Oh, yeah. La Hala, that sounds good. What's the best? Do they have like a... I'm not going to Roscoe's. I was about to say, what's the best chicken and waffle spot? We ain't going to no Roscoe's. Not the one in South Central, for sure. Rest in peace, P&B Rock, man. Very unfortunate. See, I could look like this and still be a lick. Kira Shmi, what's good? You don't got to be a millionaire to get robbed. All you got to do is look like something. You look like something to go... And, and a, you look like something and go in front of a bunch of people that's starving. They're going to eat you. But anyways, we had three point, we had three k likes. So now I'm finna give a message, man. Um, and this is a freestyle topic. I didn't even think about this one before I even got to it. So you already know what time it is, guys. Tell the new viewers that come in here to follow and tap the bell button, cause once I get going, I ain't paying attention no more. I'm just giving the straight game. I'm laying the game down on the ground for the hungry hounds. So I'm not really paying attention no more. So keep pushing the like button. Appreciate you, Parker, for the follow. Welcome to the family. So I'm about to give y'all some game. Um, so like I said, I'm not really going to be paying attention to all the extra. So y'all do y'all's job and I'm about to do mine. Okay. Y'all got to get over the past. Oh no, man. Monkey about to talk about the past. Oh no. Y'all got to get over the past. Um, we often, you ever start daydreaming and you just be staring at nothing for a long time and then you suddenly come back to your senses? That's how we are with our past, but we're like that with our past a lot of times. And it's because we feel like in many areas where we came up short or we said the wrong words or we feel like if we didn't do this, things would have continued. It really hurts. I mean, it really hurts. <laughs> it really hurts, right? Because you feel almost as if you'll never be able to amount to anything because of the mistakes that you made in the past. But let me just tell you guys this. What you did in the past shaped you to who you are today. And no matter how mad you are at the past, currently, there's no way that we can go back to the past and mend those things. Um, and I can relate because there would be like ends to relationships that I have with my exes where I wanted closure. But sometimes you got to understand the closure is the way that they left you. You're not going to have another conversation. You're not going to get an understanding. Sometimes people just depart from you because... They're ready to depart from you. They're over you. And when someone's over you, there's nothing you can say or do that'll bring them back. And why would you want to bring them back? They departed from you. As great as you are, as genuine as you are, as whatever you are, the best traits. There's negative traits. We all have negative traits. But the best traits, it didn't oversee their decision. They decided to leave you. So what you guys have to understand is you have to quit chasing ghosts. Ooh, man, there's ghost hunters out there. There's ghost adventures out there. But y'all got to stop chasing ghosts. Ghosts are of the past. They once existed and they're no longer here. Um, and it, living in the past doesn't even just come up with people sometimes. Sometimes it's situational. And um, 
I know for a fact, like, certain things where I came up short when it comes to sports. I feel like I could have ran the football harder. I feel like I could have lifted the weights harder, and I would have been here. I feel like I could have avoided this energy. I mean, this injury by stretching or, like, so many things that you just live through. And sometimes it's not even just the prison in your own mind. You see other people on the come up, and you start reflecting, like, man, I remember when I was there. I wish I were to do this, and I wish I could go back. So then you project that onto people, and you try to make them... And not even in the way of giving advice, but you try to forcefully, maybe even on your siblings, you try to force them not to make the mistakes that you didn't make. And you're doing it out of love, but they see it as judgment. You have to be careful with that. And that's why you can't live in the past because you can push your siblings away because they don't see it as love. They see it as control. And a lot of parents do that. They live through their children. Um, and it's good to live to your live through your children in certain aspects, but you have to let them make mistakes because like I said, Without mistakes, you wouldn't have been shaped to who I was. In my last serious relationship, if I wasn't cheated on and done the way I was, I would have never realized how insecure I was and how I put a woman, no, not even a woman, a girl, a girl ahead of me. I put a girl ahead of everything. I put a girl ahead of my passion. I put a girl ahead of my sense of direction. I put a girl ahead of my faith and my relationship with the Lord and Savior. I put a girl ahead of everything. And I realized that I am messed up mentally and the trauma that I went through as a, as a youth I hadn't come to terms with, and that's why I try to give my all to this person. So what y'all got to understand, man, is you can't live in the past, and you always have to put yourself first. I mean, I know sometimes it might seem like putting yourself first is selfish, but let me tell you what, like that PNB Rock song says, sometimes you got to be selfish, man. You got to be selfish. You guys got to get out of the past, because a lot of times when something new comes into your life, someone or something, you're so caught up in the past that you don't even enjoy what you currently have that's right in front of you. And there's nothing like, there's nothing like, there's, it's one thing to not have anybody, but it's one thing to have someone with you and feel like you're still alone because you're projecting the past onto them and you have not come to terms. So you just sit there and you, day by day, you slowly are, you're rotting as a live corpse. So you guys have to get over the past, okay? I know your past was traumatic. I know you could have done better. I know you wish this didn't happen. You wish that didn't happen. But live in the present. You also can't. You also can't live in the fat. You can't live in the past. But quit trying to travel to the future. Focus on your present. The present is a present. It is a gift. Tomorrow is never promised, but this present moment is. You're existing. You can move your arms. Some people wake up tomorrow. Their arm. Nerves might not work anymore the same way that they did. They might not be able to talk. One side of their face might not move. Y'all saw what happened with Justin Bieber's face. I mean, it's back to normal now, but things happen. And you'd be so worried about the past that you're not preparing for the future in the present moment. Don't let that go over your heads. Let it go into your head, through your skull, into your brain. And, and down below your brain, through your neck, into your heart. To my new viewers in here, make sure you tap the follow button and the bell button. This will be on YouTube so you guys can watch this again or share it to whoever you feel like. Um, if you enjoyed this game, sock it to my pocket. Donate to the TikTok Live. Um, super chat on YouTube. Whatever you want to do. I'm not asking of anything, but just like the preacher does and passing around the bowl like they do when y'all be throwing ones, fifties, and pennies, and nickels, and dimes, and quarters. But I hope that I could give you some value. This is how I'm going to give game going forward. I'm going to give a like. I'm going to give a like goal. And after we get the like goal, there's no more talking. There's game serving. I'm serving the game, and I hope y'all are full, okay? Uh, much love to all of you. Listen, uh, TikTok, it doesn't let me DM you back because uh, I have to be following you, and I'm just not going to be following everybody. But you can DM me on Instagram, and I will DM you back. As long as you're not being a troll, I promise I will go through my requests. I know I have a lot of followers, but I don't give a damn about that. I check my requests. And it shows me the requests in chronological order. So the time that you DM me, it's going to pop up. And I'll DM you back. We also have group chats on Instagram for supporters. So if you ever see my story, vote to join. But yeah, man, I just had to lay it down on the ground for the Hungry Hound Square business. And with that being said, do my viewers in the chat have any things that they want to say to me before I get up out of here? I'm going to give you all the chance to talk now before I go. Here's the mic. I would love to. Yeah, get, get out of here. Out, out, out. Get up out of here, buddy. Get him out of here. I just feel like Anakin Skywalker with the Force. Get him out. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Maki. That's all I got to say. When you go live. I go live every day. Um, three to six times a day. I'll be live tomorrow morning.
I'm about to go play Fortnite with the homie. So if y'all want to catch that, DM me on Insta or get the Twitch link or the YouTube link, whatever. But I'll catch you guys later. I see that there's nothing else to be said. I love you all. Work hard. Um, I hope that y'all live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. And with that being said, shout out to Sinful the P for that, by the way. I took that from him. Love you guys. Peace.